What is up guys? Welcome back to another finger style tutorial. Today we're taking a look at Ivy by Taylor Swift. This is going to be an intermediate arrangement. If you do want to see the full version, click the link above or down in the description below. Now this song is in the key of D, so I chose an open D tuning for this one. But if you're ready to give it a shot, let's get started. Alright guys, so we're in open D tuning for this song, okay? So you want to take this E string down one whole note to a D. A string stays the same. D string stays the same. This G comes down to an F sharp or a G flat, depending on what your tuner says. But it's just half a note. Then this B goes down one whole note to an A. And the E goes down one whole note to a D. Okay, so I'll put the tuning on the screen for you. So here it sound like this. I'll refer to this as the first string, this is the sixth string. If you do want to play along with the tabs as well, you can get them on my Patreon page. You can get my latest tab for $1 or access to all my old tabs as well for $5. So if you're late to this video and it's not my latest tab anymore, You'll have to join the $5 tier to download this tab and all my old ones, but then you can switch to the, the $1 tier and you'll get all my future tabs as well. Okay, so if you're ready, let's get started with the first verse. Okay, so the first part we're going to be learning sounds like this. It's the start of the verse. Because we're in an open tuning here, we can play a lot of open strings which makes it slightly easier. I'm starting up here on the ninth fret. I've got my third finger on the second string there on the ninth fret, and then my thumb is come over the top for the bass note. So we're gonna play strings two, three, and six together. Then we're gonna play strings four and three, and then we can release that shape. Then we're moving down to the start of the fretboard and we're gonna hit the first string, open, and then open again, and then put our fingers onto, first finger onto the second fret first string. Then, we're halfway through this bar now, so we're going to be switching chords to our next chord, and the bass note is going to be open fifth string. So that's just open fifth string, followed by four, three, two. Very easy start. Getting on to the next section. A little bit more difficult here because there's quite big stretches. You need to use your thumb and your little finger as well, which you might not be used to if you're still a beginner. But where we've just played this, then we're gonna play the open second string again. That just takes us into the next chord. As you play that, you wanna kinda get set up to put your little finger up here on the fifth fret, sixth string, along with your first finger down here on the second fret of the first string. So you're going to start off with those two strings, then we've got a kind of alternating pattern. You're going to be alternating between the first string and the third string. Like that. So it sounds like this. So you're playing it each string four times, alternating. Then, we're switching cards. So there, from here, you want to move your thumb up over the top onto the second fret of the sixth string. And you want to keep your finger here on the first string second fret. And you're gonna do a little hammer on. So play both strings one and six, and then hammer on with your fourth finger onto the 4th fret 1st string. Then, I play the 3rd string open. Then, take your finger off here, and you're going to do a little pull-off 
here. So like, like that. It's very quick. When you do that, move your finger up one string to the second string on the second fret. Play that and then open first string. So I'll play that part slowly for you. Okay, so let's go through everything we've learned so far. The next part Okay, so after we play this, we're gonna take our fourth finger again up to the fourth fret this time, not the fifth fret, the fourth on the sixth string. You're gonna play that bass note, followed by open fourth and third. Then we've got a little hammer on, so I use my first finger here for the hammer on, on the second string, open to the second fret. You want to keep your finger here while you do that because now we're going to be moving up to the fifth fret. So hammer on, move up here, and we're going to play open first string with the sixth string, which is now on the fifth fret. So play those together. Then open first string two more times. So that section so far. Now you can release your hand, we're going to be playing this. So it starts off with an open fifth string. You want to put your first finger or your second finger here, which is the fourth string second fret, and you're going to play open third and then fourth. The reason I use my first finger is that it makes it easier for the next part where you want to take your fourth finger up here to the fourth fret, fifth string. And we're going to do this little run here. So it's quite fast. So you've got one finger still there on the fourth string, second fret, and you've got the new bass note is up here on the fifth string, fourth fret. The pattern is going to be, this is the strings, it's going to be five, four, three, four, two, then take your first finger off and play four, three, four. So with this second, uh, with this first finger on, five, four, three, four, two, and then off, four, three, four. All right, so let's play up to there from the very start. Starting up here in the ninth fret. Okay, so now we're into the second part of this verse. It starts to repeat, so it starts off the same. Just like this. Okay, so before we did this. But this time is an alternate ending. Okay, so to do that, that's the same. Then we're taking that first finger off the second fret and we're gonna play open fourth string, followed by a slide on the fifth string, second fret to the fourth fret. Then you wanna stretch your fourth finger out over the seventh fret and you're gonna play a harmonic there. So I just play it on the 
um, second, third, and fourth strings. Can be quite difficult. But you just need to practice where your finger needs to go. It needs to go right on that fret there. Okay, so let's play through that again. We'll do it right from the start, including the first repetition and the second together. I'll try and play it slowly for you. Okay, so once you've got through the verse, we're into the pre-chorus section. It sounds like this. Okay, so starting that off slowly. Okay, so let's look at that part first. We're coming in with a hammer on straight away. Open second string to the second fret. Then I take my second finger for the bass note, which is going to be the second fret on the fifth string. Play that along with the open first string. Then again, we've got a lot of open strings. So we're going to be playing open four, three, two, two, one. Then you can take that finger off and just play open fifth, open third, open second, but we're going to do a hammer on here. So from the start, then we're going to do a little slap harmonic. So you want to take one finger, I normally use my third finger, or my second finger, sorry, and I just tap on the 12th fret. If you don't want to do that, you can just hit open first, because it's the same note. Or you can do like a pinch harmonic if you prefer that. Just use whichever method you want to get that note. Okay, so once you get the harmonic, as you're moving your left hand up you want to play the open six bass note. And we're moving to this. Okay, so harmonic, open six string, and moving your left hand up to the fifth fret, because we're aiming for this bass note. It's the six string fifth fret. You also want to use your third finger underneath on the fourth string of the fifth fret. Once you're in that position, play those two strings, four and six, and you're going to do a little pull off here. So it's so it's fifth fret to fourth fret with your first finger, and then off to open. Then carrying on. So that's going to be 6th fret, bass note again on the 5th fifth, fifth fret still here. Then I found an unusual hammer on, it's open to 5th fret hammer on. Followed by open 2nd, and as you play that open 2nd, you want to move your hand down to the 2nd fret. Then play open 1st with the 6th string. Then open second again, followed by that same bass note and first fret, third string. Then take your first finger off and just play open third. Then we're changing shapes again. 
So I'm now using my fourth finger on the fourth fret, sixth string. And we're gonna do a pull off on that first fret, third string to open. Followed by open fourth. So the pre-chorus so far. Okay, so once you've got that pull off, you're gonna hit the bass note again, same one, six string, fourth fret. Then we've got some open strings again. The pattern is gonna be four, three, four. Then we're gonna slide up to the fifth fret on the sixth string bass note. We're gonna play that along with open fourth. Then open fourth three more times. Followed by open third. Then just one finger held down here, fourth string, second fret, and the open fifth string bass note. Then I do a little strum kind of thing, just on the second, third, fourth, fifth strings maybe, just like like that. Okay, then we're getting into a little run that's gonna take us into the chorus. But up to there, this is what we've learned for the pre-chorus so far. Okay, so just to take us into the chorus, we've got this run. Okay, so the run is going to be open 4th string to 2nd fret hammer on, then open 3rd string to the 1st fret and then the 3rd fret. Then open 2nd string to the 2nd fret and then open 1st. You'll need to build the speed up on that one. As you land on the second note, that one, you want to play open fifth string bass note. Okay, and that is going to take us into the chorus. So I'll just play the pre chorus one more time at full speed. Okay guys, now we're into the chorus section of the song. So again, this is split into two parts that repeat with slightly different endings. So this is the entire first part we're gonna be learning. Okay, so we're gonna be starting up here. I'll play the first little section we'll be looking at. So first, holding this shape here, I've got two fingers held down, my second finger is on the third string on the eighth fret, and then my third finger is down here on the second string of the ninth fret. Okay, so holding that shape, you're going to play strings two, three, four, and six together. Then we've got a fast kind of picking pattern, it sounds like this. So that is five, four, three, four, two. Five, four, three, four, two. Okay, so once you get that, we're gonna switch cards. You're taking this finger off, lifting up here. So now you're on the sixth string, ninth fret. And you're gonna play strings two, three, and six together. That's gonna be followed by four, three open strings. 
Okay, so we're starting off in this shape. Okay, so from there, the next section sounds like this. Okay, so some tricky shapes and quick movements. We're starting off with that hammer on, that's open first to the second fret. It's important to use your first finger for this because we're going to leave that there and we're going to complete the rest of the chord with these two fingers. So that chord looks like that. I've got my second finger up on the third string of the third fret. Then we need to stretch over to the fifth fret here. So I use my fourth finger for that rather than my second because it's a bit difficult to stretch across there. So I use my fourth finger and that's on the fifth fret second string. So this shape is a little bit like a D minor but we're going to move up one and then stretch that finger across. So you want to start off by playing that chord twice, once with the bass note, which is open fifth string, and then again, just the first three strings. From there, we're going to take that first finger off and just play open, open first string, followed by the third string, which is still here on the third fret. Then you can release that shape, and we're going to do another hammer on. So it's two hammer-ons there. The first one, zero to two on the first string. Then the bass note. So you want to use your third finger for that hammer-on because you're going to use your second finger for the bass note. This is all just preparing for the feet. So you want to use your third finger there and you want to use your second for the finger for the bass note. Then we've got the other hammer-on which I use my fourth finger for, two to four on the first string. Then I'm playing the third string again, open, then release that shape, and it's just the first string three times. It's hard to get this bar kind of smooth. Um, it's one of the most difficult in the song. Take it slowly and build up the speed on it. From there, we're getting to this part. Okay, so for that, we're starting off with this bass note, open sixth string. Then we've got pull off, second string, second fret to open. See, I'm also playing the third string there as well, which is open. Then another bass note, fifth string this time. So it's six, five, with a pull off in the middle. Then we've got two more pull offs. So that's a little run there. So we've got third string, first fret to open, and then fourth string, second fret to open. That's followed by a new bass note, which is the first, fifth string, second fret, along with the open first string three times that. Then we've got a little hammer on here which is just underneath this finger. So it's a good idea to keep that finger there just so we can hear that bass note ringing out. So you can still hear the bass note and then you're just adding that hammer on in there. Okay so the hammer on is on the fourth string set, uh, open to second fret and then four three, open. So let's play the whole chorus up to there so far. The next part sounds like this. So it's another kind of um, alternating section. So we're starting off with just the second finger held down on the third string, third fret. And we're going to do a little finger roll just on the first three strings and the open fifth string bass note. And then we're going to 
alternate the third string with the first string. Starting with the third string here. Third, first, third, first, third, first, third, first. At this point, we're gonna play the bass note again because we're kind of halfway through this bar. So it's one, two, three. So on the third beat there, you wanna hit that bass note again. And then we're gonna alternate two more times, so. Okay, so once you get near to the end of that bar, on the last beat, you're gonna add your fourth finger onto the fourth fret, first string, play that, pull off to the second fret, and then again to open. Four, two, zero. And then just, just complete that run, you can play the open second string. Okay, so after that, the chorus starts to repeat with a different ending. So it sounds like this. Okay, so let's get up to where we're gonna learn something new here. So it starts off the same. Just the same as the last part of the chorus. That's exactly where it starts to change, okay? So we're starting off the same, six, pull off five. Then, instead of doing like we did before, we're gonna do a one hammer on here. First finger on the fourth string, open to second. Then you're gonna plant these two fingers here next, next to it. So second finger is on the third string, third fret. And my third finger is on the second string, fourth fret. So you've got hammer on, put those two fingers down there and play three and two. Then you're gonna move that first finger up to the fifth string, second fret. After that, you're gonna play open first string twice. Then, after that bass note and the open first strings, you're gonna play open fourth string. And then, third string twice, and then second string. These two fingers still held here. So it's just third, third, second. When you play the bass note there, the fourth string open, you wanna make sure your finger is quite lifted up so that you don't mute it accidentally. So you want it to ring out like that, so I lift my finger up slightly. From there we carry on. The rhythm of this section is a little bit tricky. So we're starting off with the open fifth string bass note. We've just played this. So we take that first finger off. So you can take these fingers off as well. I tend to keep them on because I like to let them ring out as long as they can. So I'm gonna keep mine there and I'm gonna play the open fifth string. Then open first string twice. Then open fifth again, and a little hammer on here. That's the fourth string, open to second. Then we've got open first three times with the bass note in the middle. Like that. That's when I take all my fingers off. And I do a little pull off here. Fourth fret on the first string to open along with the second and third strings. So let's play the entire chorus, including the first part and now the second part.
Right, so now we've just got the ending, and luckily it's a nice, easy ending. Sounds like this. Okay, so after that pull off that we ended on at the end of the chorus, we're gonna come up here, second finger for the bass note, which is fifth string, second fret. Then third finger added down here onto the second fret as well on the second string. Play that one, followed by open first. Then we're gonna start this pattern where we're gonna hit strings five, then three, two, one afterwards. Starting off all open strings. So open fifth, then open three, two, one. Then we're just gonna all change the bass note we're playing. So we're gonna do the same thing with the sixth string fifth fret, down to the second fret, up to the fourth fret, up to the fifth fret, up to the seventh fret, and then twelfth fret, harmonics. Just like that. So I'll play that ending one more time for you. Sometimes I do a little note in between each of the bass notes, so it's going to be... And I like to do a little slap on there, so kind of hammer, almost like a hammer on. And that's the whole song. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you in the next one.